Hi everybody, welcome to Gooey Plays. This is episode 25 of Godus. I've just unearthed this treasure temple over here, um, which I wanted to talk to you about because it was pretty tricky to uncover it. Well, I haven't uncovered it fully yet, but I've got the top bit sticking out. In my last video, you would have seen I was flattening this area. I've built uh, a lot of houses on here now. I'll show you what else I've done as well once we've talked about the treasure temple, but... As you know from my previous videos, there's this treasure temple over here which um, is on top of a mountain and to the east of that treasure temple, just um, behind this sacred land here, a hollowed ground, there is a treasure temple under this mountain. Now I use meteors to uncover this treasure temple, um, but for some reason I wasn't able to dig down any further. You can see the layers around it, and obviously that's because the sapphire stones there um, but I couldn't see the sapphire stones either so I was pretty um, unsure as to why I couldn't uncover it but anyway what I did is use a comet there was a tiny little bit of granite up there it was the only piece but once I used a comet and smashed that one piece of granite I actually used two or three um, comets it unearthed all this ore here so obviously what I'm gonna have to do is because you can't sculpt land around ore I've actually built two mining settlements over here with a couple of miners in, so I'm going to send them over there now. And they are going to mine all that ore away, and once that's disappeared I'm going to be able to sculpt away and then build the treasure temple. Obviously I'm going to get uh, gems for this. You don't always get gems for sculpting sapphire, sapphire but there is a lot here, so... Um, I'm hoping we're going to get quite a few at least. So obviously I'm not going to show you uncovering this um, treasure temple now because that's going to take a while to build and uncover. But I will, in the next video I'll show you what we get from that. But it's usually just gems and uh, stickers anyway. So I'll show you what else I've been up to as well. It's been a, a week or so since I made another video. Um, obviously we've captured two Astari Vills. Just been planting a lot of trees around as well. Pretty much covered everywhere where I've got houses, trees. I've made quite a lot of change to this area over here. Um, just to the east of the Ark where this um, patch of mining land is. I forget what they're called. There is this um, hollow ground down here. So I built a lot of monasteries on there. And also I've flattened this area around this other treasure temple and I have built a lot of abodes around here as well. This is um, mining land as well but I think I've got enough mines. I've got 3,386 ore so I'm not in short supply. Still waiting to uncover some more land to build farms on. I'm hoping once I um, uncover these beacons up here. There's two beacons actually. There's one here but they are expensive to build. This one's 800 wheat and a thousand R. Hoping once I uncover these, there's going to be some more land for me to farm on because I'm short on wheat, very short on wheat. There's another one here. I think that's a thousand and a thousand. Um, so I need a bit more wheat to build at least one of those temples. Obviously, in my last video, or one of my last videos, I showed you guys. I actually upgraded the Rain of Purity Cloud to the maximum, so. I can water a lot of fields at once and collect wheat quickly. Someone did let me know that I should unlock the shrine of wheat soon as well, so I'm going to be able to collect wheat automatically. Um, but apparently it only works for small fields, not the large ones. There's a delay harvesting wheat from the large fields. So I'll put that into practice and um, I'll let you guys see that. I'll probably build the next patch of land. I'll squeeze as many little farms on there as can and we'll stick a shrine in the middle of that and then we can just water the wheat and it'll harvest it automatically so I'm gonna just harvest a little bit more wheat here need 800 and I'll send a couple of boys in to uh, build that beacon up there seven nine nine almost So 
So I've got enough uh, wheat now to build that beacon. There's our pyramid that we made. So I'm just going to leash a few builders then from these buildings. I've not checked if the path is actually clear for them to be able to get up to that beacon, but I'll do that once I've sent them over. I'm not sure how many guys it takes, but it's usually about 20 or so. Actually, I already got a gem uh, mined there, which is good, because we are short on gems. I don't think these guys are going to have much problem getting here. Should be able to walk over the sapphire stones there. Just building them up lots some little steps. So we have already mined one gem. So just click on the gems to harvest them. Got ten miners working away here. Not not sure how long this is gonna take to clear, hopefully not too long. It's a little bit more sapphire there. If you do have problems mining sapphire Sometimes they won't harvest it, sorry, mine it if it's sticking out like that. You do need to um, have the, some land underneath the sapphire in order for them to mine it. This is going to be a problem here, this little piece. You'll have to uncover that. And obviously build some uh, steps so you can get down into there to mine it. Actually, there's quite a bit more hidden under there. Somebody's decided to build a mine as well. I tried to avoid that. Um, by creating a wiggly line, not, the land's all broken up, so I was hoping they wouldn't build mines. Probably someone could actually build a mine there, so if you just break the land up like this, it's not going to put any plots around, so hopefully they won't build mines. But unfortunately, we're going to have to. Um, don't know what happened there. I haven't got a clue what I pressed, but it sent me all the way to that wheat farm down there on Astariville. So I'm going to have to get rid of this guy's mine so I can finger I've got it and demolish it, destroy the rock and we'll sculpt the land around it. So we should be able to uncover this a bit more now. Yep. That's it for this video anyway. I just wanted to talk to you about uh, this treasure temple and if you do have troubles on earth in it, you're going to need to use um, a comet to get rid of the granite and then all of the sapphire crystal appears once you've done that. You might need to use one or two. I used um, about three I think because it's quite a large area of sapphire. But anyway I hope this video helped you. Um, if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up and check my channel out as well for a lot more Godus videos. See you in episode 26.